Welcome to TIStats.com, the positive correlation to your statistics education. The Basics, Lecture 1, Navigating Your Calculator At first, your new TI calculator might seem a bit daunting. Don't worry, we're going to start with the basics. First, near the top left, you'll see a second key. The second key allows you access to anything directly above and to the left of a button. Say I needed to use pi. I could press second and caret and pi will show up on my screen. Alpha does the same but to the right. Say I needed the letter J. I can click alpha and comma and I'll get the letter J. That's good. But let's say I didn't really want the letter J. I can scroll over the J and click Delete. Delete will remove anything directly on the cursor. Something nice about the calculator is I can just override anything by simply scrolling over it and typing something else. But what if I just needed to insert something and I didn't want to override it? Second delete will allow me to insert things so I can just type in what it was that I missed. Clear will remove the whole entire line of anything. Now, if for any reason you play around with your calculator and get lost and can't figure out how to get back to the main menu, there's a quit function. All you do is press second, mode, and it'll allow you to get back to the home screen. Another nice function about the TI calculators is say you inserted a function and you forgot something that you were supposed to do. Say I was supposed to add 1 to this. I can press second, enter, and what I previously input will be there. So now I can just press plus 1, and I fixed my equation. TIStats.com is made possible from the support of viewers like you. Thank you for your support.